Hi friends, now in this session we will discuss the cross currency rate or simply the cross rate from CFA level one economics. The chapter's name is the currency exchange rate. So I've seen a lot of students uh, face difficulty in this particular concept like in the cross rate calculation. In this video, I will give you some tricks or some hacks using which you will be able to solve any type of cross rate question. It doesn't matter how difficult that question is, you will be able to handle it without any confusion. Okay, so that's my promise to you. Now here, this is not the basic discussion. So here we are not going to cover the fundamental discussion of the cross currency or the cross rate uh, because ultimately this is not the aim of the video. My aim is to provide you some tricks or hacks using which you will be able to calculate the cross rate, right? So first we will start with the foundation just to give you the brief idea what's going on here. And then we will conclude or we'll end our discussion at this particular question, which in which we will see two jumps in the currency. So total four currencies and we will see how to calculate the bid rate for the cross rate the bid cross rate and the ask cross rate so this is kind of a most academically the most complicated cross rate question and this question also you will be able to handle it with ease you won't face any problem okay so let's start with the first the basics imagine a scenario you have dollar a sorry so currency a in your pocket and you want to make the payment in currency b so we definitely we need to convert A into B first. Okay, so currency A into currency B. Now the problem is we don't have any quotation available in say currency A to currency B. And that's the problem. Now without having any quotation, so this quotation is not available. Either it can be B to A or A to B, it is not available. Without having any quotation, how to make the payment in B when we have A in our pocket? So the solution is we will look for one particular currency, let's say currency C, which is quoted in both A and B. And here we will first convert our A to C. And then we will convert C to B. And that's why we say this as a cross currency. So after converting this, so jumping from A to C and C to B, this is cross currency calculation. So cross currency conversion and the rate calculated using these rates is known as the cross rate. Okay, simply the cross currency rate. So here for understanding the basic understanding, we will take the example of USD INA. Okay, so we have the first quotation available, which is the INR USD 80. This means 80 rupees for one USD. And then we have the USD Euro quotation, uh, which means one Euro is equal to 1.05 USDs. And our requirement is to calculate INR per Euro. Bit unrealistic, but let's assume for now that we don't have any quotation available for the INR to Euro, simple, okay? So INR is stands for the Indian rupees. Now here, to calculate this, so to INR to Euro, once you learn how to calculate INR to Euro, you will be, Euro, you will be able to calculate Euro to INR also. So don't bother about it. Okay, so Euro to INR or INR to Euro, both will be very easy. We'll start with the INR to Euro. So INR per Euro. If I have to write INR per Euro, this means whatever number of rupees per Euro, I can write this as INR per Euro. Okay, mathematically this is correct, INR per Euro. I will use the same setup here, INR per Euro, but I will write INR per euro like this. INR per euro. And here I will put the currency which is quoted against say INR first. So here USD. So INR USD. So we have INR USD quotation available. And then USD euro. So we have USD euro quotation available. If you apply the basic mathematics principle, we can cut this. So USD USD gone and we still have INR Euro only. So mathematically, we are not touching this particular equation. We are just splitting INR into Euro and we are giving the common factor. So one in denominator, one in numerator, both cut down. We have the same equation like this. Okay, so this equation is exactly same as this equation. So INR uh, USD and USD Euro is exactly same as INR to Euro. Now, how to put the values here? To put values, so we'll start with the first INR USD, INR USD. How many rupees INRs are there for one USD? So we have total 80 rupees for one USD, remember? One USD. Multiply by 
USD to Euro, we have 1.05, 1.05 USDs for 1 Euro. So we will write it as 1. So what is the quotation? So here you have 1.05 USD. That's why 1.05 is used for the USD and we have 1 Euro's price. So that's why we are putting it as 1. And now simply solve this. If you solve this, 80 multiplied by 1.05 and the answer is 84. What if we want to calculate Euro to INR? Euro to INR. So in this particular case, what we will do simply again, set up the equation like this. USD here, USD here, same. Like if you cut USD, USD, you still have Euro per INR and then put the values and here Euro to USD, we have 1 Euro, 1.05 USD multiplied by 1 USD, 80 Euros, 80 rupees. And if you solve this, you will still get 84. Okay, so that's for sure. You can do the calculation. So, no, sorry, just a second. 80 as in here, we have the Euro per INR, right? So, we will get the answer is e4 divide equals to so answer is 0 0.0119 okay so this is euro per ayana that is for one ayana ayana how many rupees uh, how many euros are there like this now let's see this example so where we have quotation available like this so first we have the rate usd to ayana then we have usd to euro then we have ad okay arab emirates dirham to euro and our requirement is to calculate the rate for INR per AED. Okay, so INR per AED is our requirement. For now, just assume we have only these rates. Okay, so ideally, if you combine both, like the, this is a bid and this is the ask. But for now, let's assume like we don't have the bid ask, we have only one rate. So I will give the idea of one rate first and then we will see. Uh, how to deal with the bid and ask which is slightly trickier but still you will be able to understand it don't worry now here again we will start with the setting up of our equation but here we will set it up in three layers okay so we have i and r per aed requirement aed requirement now how to write it as like write this particular setup because remember here we need three steps because we have to jump uh, in three currencies right so here first is INR AED, write it like this, this, okay. So INR AED, remember. Now INR is quoted against USD and AED is quoted against Euro. Now here you have to write currencies in such a manner that you get the cancellation effect. So if I write Euro here, so I get the cancellation effect. So cancel Euro, cancel Euro, one numerator, one de denominator. So you will have like, uh, it will get canceled simply, right? And we'll write USD here, simple. And then we can simply cut this, cut this, cut this, cut this. We still have INR AED. Now how to write the values here? So values are like, you are expert now, right? In this. So here first we have USD per INR. So INR1 USD 0.01225 multiplied by USD Euro. So USD is 1.0810 divided by Euro, 1 Euro multiplied by how many Euros we have here? 1 Euro divided by 80, 3.9715. And you can solve this and you will get the answer. So here we have 1.0810 divided by 0 0.01225 whatever is the answer divided by 3.9715 and the answer is 22.22 so this is the rate of 1 AD 1 dirham in rupees okay so 22.22 rupees for 1 dirham simple now see here how to deal with the bid ask now so this setup is very easy for you now okay so simply like put 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 three layers 
and then simply put the values against each other so for if there is a one inr then put one whatever is the usd put usd okay whatever is the value of the usd and simply solve this you will get the answer now let's see how to deal with the bid and ask so this is our bid rate and this is our ask rate so we have the bid rate and we have the ask rate now in case of bid ask rate we have to always understand the basic concept about the bid ask rate so bid is the lower rate and ask is the higher rate generally the problem is when we are dealing with this setup just a second now see we want to put the values for inr usd so this particular part is clear like we know there is one inr now what to put in usd because we have the bid and we have ask and we are calculating this for bid only okay so remember this is for the bid now which value to put so maybe someone will say because we are calculating the bid so we have to take the bid value 0.01225 and if you do this you made a big mistake okay so this is not like this works slightly differently okay so this concept the calculation part works a bit differently now see here what is the hack here what is the trick here bid is the lowest rate so you have to put rates or you have to put values in such a manner that it results into the lower rate so it should always push the rate into the lower rate now if i give you two choices in denominator you can have the lower value which is a bid value so we are talking about this particular part okay you have to put the value in denominator you can put the lower value and higher value lower value is the bid value higher value is the ask value and your objective is to get the lower value ultimately the lower value so which value you will keep or put obviously the higher value if you have the higher value in the denominator automatically the final result will be lower so we will take the higher value and the value is 0.01235 multiplied by next usd euro usd euro 1 euro 1 euro this is given here right so 1 euro and usd remember what is our objective objective is to get the lesser value the smaller value to get the smaller value in numerator we have to put the small value so we will use this small value 1.0810 multiplied by ad euro euro is in one so one at the place of euro in ad we have again two choices we can either go by the 3.9715 or 3.9730 9730 is the higher value and our objective is to get the smaller value because we are calculating the bid rate so here we will use 3. Point. we will use this value 3.9730 and whatever is the final answer is our bid rate 0.01235 divide equals multiply by 1.081 divided by 3.9730 22.22.03 this is our bid rate now we will calculate the ask rate now in ask rate again the setup is same but ask rate is the higher rate and for this reason we will look for the values which will ultimately result into the higher values so how to look for the values here so we'll start with the first again so inr is one here so one and we need a value in denominator which will give us the higher results so divide by lower values to get the higher results so we will divide it by 0.01225 multiply by now objective is to get the higher value so put higher value here in numerator and divided by 1 multiplied by 1 divided by objective is to get the higher value put lower value in the denominator 3.9715 and final answer is 0.01225 divide equals multiplied by 1.0820 divided by 3.9715 22.22.03 so this is our bid and ask okay so after solving this i don't think like any 
bid ask rate question or simply the cross rate question will be very difficult for you this is going to be very easy simply apply the basic principles set up the equation put the values correctly and you are good to go and that's all it takes to calculate the cross currency rate so that's all for this video thank you thank you for watching this video see you in the next video bye bye take care